All right, this is Adrian Hernandez here with Eric, drummer boy Molina. Eric, big fight coming up February 18th in uh, Corpus Christi, Texas. You're going to be taking on number one heavyweight contender, Chris Ariola. Uh, you know, first of all, talk to us about how you got this fight. I mean, it was a shot that, uh, you know, my, my promoter, Don King, he put together. You know, he was calling down there to work with Don Goosen to get me on the card. I had a heavyweight, local heavyweight, you know, from there, talk started between him and Don Goosen said, hey, you know what, put your boy with my boy. You know, and you know Don King, he, 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 he don't like to mess around. He said, hey, you know, let's go, let's do this. I'll put Molina in there, let's do it. Let's make it a big fight. Let's make it right there, an hour and a half from his, from where I live. And let's go. Don, Don King gave me the opportunity. He has faith in me, and uh, that's how the fight got come to be. Okay. Now, this fight is going to be the biggest fight in your career to date. You know, how, how do you feel coming into this fight? I mean, this is a big opportunity. You know, when you first start fighting, uh, you dream of a shot like this, you know, and I, and I thank God that, that we got that call, and they gave me that opportunity to, to come out here. You know, we're one step away from fighting for that ultimate sports prize. And, which is the heavyweight world title, and uh, this fight's huge for me, you know. I mean, it's my dream when, when I first started, you know, to, to, to get a fight like this. Okay. Now, uh, for the past couple fights, you were training out in the Don King camp, and you were also training in Florida. Um, you currently moved this camp back to the Rio Grande Valley, and you're under the direction of uh, James Gogi. You know, talk to us on how you got uh, with James Gogi. I mean, w when we got the call for the fight, you know, uh, they said, hey, you know, what do you think about the fight, this and that? It was like four five weeks away I don't count the last week but we were about four weeks away and I said you know what I said this fight I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it this is the biggest fight of my career I got all my team that has been with me five six years you know and I said we're gonna do this here I'm disciplined enough to, to make a camp here in my backyard uh, I got the discipline I, I got the self-motivation to get things done and I put together a really good team I got James Gogi you know and, and and you know putting everything together we got Oliver McCall down here I got Erasmo Cuella my strength conditioning coach I got Bobby Digital you know we got we got guys I got I got my Pablo Adam you know everybody's helping me out everybody's doing things for me and uh, you know we're working real hard every day we're working 100 percent 110 percent and I feel comfortable and that's the, mo the most important thing for this fight. Okay, now talk to us about that. You mentioned uh, having Oliver McCall, Oliver McCall here in your training camp. Um, I think you've, you've already had uh, been in him with some camps before. Uh, you know, but talk to us about how you guys were able to bring here to Oliver McCall to the Rio Grande Valley. I mean, Oliver McCall, uh, his, uh, he works with, uh, with one of my managers out there in Florida. And uh, a, lot of th a lot of people don't realize Oliver McCall is, is the most feared heavyweight in the world. He's the hardest gym fighter in, in sparring rounds in, in any heavyweight, you know. Anybody that knows the heavyweight that have seen him in the ring, they know that about him. So when, when we got, when I got the call, I said, you know what, I'm bringing Oliver down here. He ain't gonna make it easy for me. He brings a similar style. And, uh, you know, he came down and he's helped me out a lot. And I got, a, I got 110% uh, uh, faith in my team and uh, we're ready to get this thing done. Okay. Now, once again, you're coming into this fight as the underdog. You know, what does it mean to you to come into this fight as the underdog yet again? You know, how prepared are you coming into this fight? I mean, yeah, of course I'm the underdog. You know, everybody's got their bid to say that I ain't got a shot, that I'm an oversized fuse away. Whatever they got to say, you know, I'm not reading, I'm not reading none of the, I, I have an idea of what they're going to say. You know, I'm the underdog. I'm the guy that, that lost my first fight in the first round, in the first minute, I bounced back this far. To me, this is a classic David and Goliath story here. We got the number one uh, heavyweight contender in the world fighting, the guy that nobody's giving a shot to. You know, and I got all the faith in the world that what got me here to 18 straight wins is going to get me past this guy here. You know, we're putting together uh, a, a good, strong training camp, and, you know, I'm, I'm leaving it all. I'm putting everything that I got out here, and, uh, you know, we feel real good about the fight. Now, a win over Chris Ariola would definitely shock the entire world. You know, but what does this fight really mean to you if you were to come out with the victory? I mean, when you, when you really break down this type of fight, uh, you know, he's been there already. He's been there already. He's a Mexican warrior just like I am. You know, a lot of people don't realize there's two big Mexicans in the ring here. This is a big heavyweight fight. This is, this is two big, big Mexicans. This is big for, 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 for our people, for, for our heritage. And for me, I'm representing half of that. And when I think about this fight, you know, I, it, this fight is going to be how I'm going to be remembered. And, you know, it's no secret. I started this game late. Yeah, you can say whatever they want about me. But you know what? I got the same type of heart that he's got. And I got the same kind of blood running through my veins that he's got. I got two arms and I got two strong fists. 
I got a 50-50 shot of winning this fight. I guarantee you. Okay, Eric, last question. You know, what do you want to say to all the Hispanic fans and just all the fans in general out there? I mean, just, just all my fans here at home, you know, all, all my Hispanic fans that have followed me throughout, the, my fans, my family, my friends, everybody that's followed me throughout this road. This is, this is what... This is the fight that we all wanted. This is the fight that, that we dreamed about. This is what everybody asked, when's Eric going to get a shot? This is our shot here. This is it. This is, this is for the whole bag of marbles. And you know what? I'm just thankful for, to God that he gave this opportunity to me, and, and I'm ready to just leave it all on the line. And just one thanks to my Universal Sports, everybody that has supported me, my sponsors, uh, my family, my friends, because I wouldn't be here without all you guys. And it's been a it's been a, a good ride to this point, and, and we're ready to, to to hit this crossroad and see what's going to happen. All right, thank you for your time, and you know, best of luck for you coming next month. Thank you, Adrian.